Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to do a long-term review on this Harbor Freight retractable hose reel. Now I know a lot of times people buy things on YouTube and they do uh, reviews on them, but they're generally first impression reviews. Hardly anyone ever goes back and does long-term reviews. So I'm going to start doing some long-term reviews on some tools that I've purchased from Harbor Freight and other places and I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly about them. Are they good? Are they worth buying? Will they last you in the long run? And if they do, what are the headaches involved in owning them? So we're going to do a series on stuff like that. Let's start off today with this hose reel. Now this hose reel you can get at Harbor Freight. It is a retractable hose reel. It's not manual. You just It has a spring inside, spring loaded. So all you do is pull on it and it releases and pulls it the hose back in. It comes with the hose. It is a 50 foot 3 8 inch hose. The item number for this is number 93897 and they have like two or three other ones also. So there'll be two or three other item numbers. Like I said it's a 3 8 by 50 foot hose and it holds up to 250 PSI and the price on this normally is around $78 but I've seen them go down quite often as low as like $57, $58 I would wait until it goes on sale and that's a much better price instead of almost $80 it's not a bad unit it's a solid unit that's for sure it is heavy this is about 40 pounds and you're going to need some help if you're going to hook it up somewhere high above your head. Uh, you may use someone to, uh, somebody else to help you hold it while you're bolting it in place. I put it right here under my bench because it was a convenient place and what I felt was a safe place. Even if it were to fall out from here for whatever reason, it's only a few feet off the ground. As you can see, it's right there. The ground's right there. It's not going to damage anything it's not going to go rolling across the garage it's not going to fall on top of my cars it won't do any major damage I made sure to secure it very very well as you can see I'll show you back there uh, too much light maybe yeah I used a uh, 2 by 6 I believe it was and I attached that to the wall and then I bolted this unit to the 2 by 6 so that way it was much more secure and then on top of that I created my own oh, hold on, my own fabrication to secure it to the front of the bench and then there's another one over on this side where it is secured to the side of the bench so I have three points holding it in place so it should not go anywhere at all and if I try to move it you're gonna see it moves inside of itself but the unit itself the frame will not move this is the frame this is the part that rotates so this will move around a bit so it is nice and solid in there and I don't fear it coming apart but I did not want to trust putting this 40 pound unit high above my head where it can fall down and practically kill somebody now as far as the usability it's a good unit it's very you know comfortable to use I have no problem with it uh, you just you know grab the hose and pull it out and you know you pull it out to the point that it holds and you see it stops I'm doing it with one hand so it's a little hard to do but you pull it out to the point that it stops and then you just hook it up to your tool and do your work so it's very convenient then when you want to put it back in pull the hose and it goes back in all by itself no problem at all works very very well now the only thing I'll mention is that like I said I, oh I should mention I've had it for about two years now almost two years so it's it's a good unit I've had good results with it I have not had any trouble with the hose some people say the hose starts to break and crack and all that you can see the hose still looks brand new after two years of uh, use the only thing is what I do what some people may not do is I clean it after every use if you get it all oily and greasy and dirty you know this is a rubber compound it is not uh, PVC 
and oil is the enemy of rubber compounds. So if you let it get oily and dirty and stay oily and dirty, the oil will eat through it. So all you got to do is give it a quick wipe down after every job. And you should keep it nice and soft and supple, and it won't give you any trouble down the road. So that's, you know, rule number one, I would say. Keep it clean, and it should last you for a long time. Now the problems I've had with this unit, oh, and I should mention, you can see right there, I have a hose that goes around the back, goes underneath it, and it goes up to the compressor right up there. I got that unit shortly after I got that unit. Uh, I may do another video in the future about that compressor, and I'll tell you, I've had that for over two years, and the good, the bad, and the headaches that I've had with it. So I'll tell you everything that's gone good and bad about it. And let's focus on this right now. So the problems that I've had with this one, the only problems I've had with it have been with this connector right back here. This connector right here. This is the part that rotates as the unit turns. You can see right there, it has to be able to turn in and around all over, 360 degrees. But it also has to be able to feed it air. So the problem is, and some people have mentioned this on the reviews, that this can leak. Now, it, you know, some people make it into a big, big deal. It's not that big a deal. It, it worked fine for me for a few months, and then it started leaking. The way to test it, obviously, if you hear a hissing sound, you got a problem. If not, spray it with some soapy water, and you'll see the bubbles. And it's not that big a deal. There's two O-rings in here, and then a, you know, a, a, a hip in the middle, and that's what separates out the two parts. So there's two O-rings in there. If you start getting a leak, don't panic, don't throw it away, don't go crazy, it's no big deal. Take, all you gotta do is undo this nut right here, this will slip right out, take out the two O-rings, put in two new O-rings, and you're good to go. You don't need to throw away a $60 unit for a couple of two cent O-rings. And that's the reason I have these right here to show you, you can go to the 99 cent store, pick and save, big lots, Dollar Tree, whatever you want to call it, whatever you have locally, you can get some O-rings. This was 99 cents. For 99 cents, you can repair this unit. Or, if you don't have that nearby, go to Harbor Freight. Get one of these. I think it's like 12 bucks. But my God, it brings you 400 O-rings. I've used this for all sorts of things, and they're good. Because I've used these like on uh, gas containers. So I've exposed them to gasoline and oil and all that, and they don't break down. So these units are pretty good. And they're, all, like I said, maybe 12 bucks, somewhere around there. I forget. I bought these a long time ago. So have some O-rings. And if that gives you any trouble, the last, I mean, I replaced those over a year ago. They have not leaked on me. If they leak again in six months or a year, I'll replace them again for 99 cents. It's not a big deal. They're, you know, a couple of cents for the O-rings, and you're good to go. And the unit itself is pretty darn good. Like I said, it's heavy. It is solid metal. If the hose goes bad, you can always buy yourself another hose from Harbor Freight or somebody else and put it back in. This unit should last you for a good long time. It's much better than the manual ones where you have to, you know, manually retract it. So, like I said, 50 feet. That covers my whole garage. I can go around all my cars and stuff with no trouble at all. And, you know, then it just sits there, doesn't bother me at all. It's a good unit. So I would recommend it. For $60 when they have it on sale, $58, $57, whatever they put it. And if you have any problems, a two cent O-ring, you can fix it yourself, trust me. I can do it, you can do it, not that big a deal. Just put it somewhere solid where you don't have to worry about it falling off. And I recommend it. I give it a thumbs up. You know, there you go. Thumbs up. Good unit. Not too expensive. Cheaper than the other brand name units. So hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like it and thumbs up. Any questions or comments, I'll answer them down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time on the next one. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.